Well, hello everybody. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me and understand what I'm saying. It's kind of hard to talk. So it's been a while since I actually did a live um, update of how things are going. And I thought I'd better do that. So yesterday, I had quite a significant event. And uh, it really was scary. And I thought I'd share. Just, why not? That's the whole idea of the channel initially, was to tell you how things are going. And uh, the things have gotten a lot worse over the last couple months so yeah, I've been uh, uploading a lot of stuff but not really talking a lot about me so let's talk about my near-death experience <laughs> which is not what it seems to be you know but anyway so what typically happens th did you know there's a large percentage of people that die in their bathrooms uh, my grandmother one of my grandmothers did uh, my cousin did, and yesterday I got pretty close. So here's the scenario. When I go to sleep, I'm hooked up to oxygen, and uh, what happens though is my breathing starts getting really shallow. So uh, my oxygen level in my blood goes down significantly. And this has happened a few times uh, and what happens is you kind of start losing control of certain bodily functions if you know what I mean so yesterday the oxygen concentrator is hooked up to my CPAP machine uh, and uh, I was having a hard time breathing and that woke me up uh, and also I was almost ready to pee myself so I ripped off the oxygen mask and the CPAP and I tried to head to the bathroom. So this is problematic because uh, uh, all I have in the bathroom is uh, one of these jobs, which is a, uh, this is a, a uh, thing to help you breathe, like a, a rescue inhaler is what it's called. Uh, it's a typical inhaler, right, on this side. And here's a a, uh, a chamber that holds you. You spray it in. You have to shake it, which I find when I'm having an event that's very intense, I can't even shake it. And then you do this. You can hear the little whistle, right? The problem is, on my best day, I've got 25% lung capacity when I'm having one of these serious events I can't breathe at all and the little sound you heard doesn't even happen because I can't draw anything in so I'm in the bathroom without the oxygen right and without this little device which is an alert I've fallen and I can't get up anyway it's that thing right that I didn't have with me so I'm in the bathroom and what typically happens is I get really really hot so and it's freezing in here most of the time my caregivers have to wear stuff like this and even I do because when the air is really cold through air conditioning and uh, it takes out the humidity I, I breathe better so it's always very cold in here anyway I'm in the bathroom I'm getting very very hot and I cannot breathe in ah, there's a cat hey I kitty I know life's a bitch uh, yeah, never mind yeah anyway so I am not able to breathe. I'm sitting on the toilet because I'm afraid I'm going to shit and piss myself. And I rip off my shirt because I'm really hot. And I have a pair of very tasteful orange shorts on. But I am really hot. And I can't breathe. And what happens is when you're suffocating, 
in that way you tend to try to hyperventilate right so my breathing goes way up and I'm starting to really be concerned because I can't breathe this in although I keep trying and nothing works so I'm thinking to myself well this is it and uh, these are the thoughts that go through my mind I don't want to be found dead with this fat body lying on the floor uh, by anybody that's oh, oh when uh, there was no caregiver coming in yesterday because they called in and uh, they told me they couldn't come in yesterday so there's nobody here so I, I'm thinking these are the thoughts that go through your head right I'm really concerned I'm gonna I'm gonna die this I mean I know I'm this is probably how I'm gonna die and chances are I'll die alone but I uh, in my in my fantasy death experience <laughs> you know I'm fully clothed and I don't crap my pants which everybody does when they die a uh, heads up to everybody anyway but I'm uh, looking serene and everybody comes in and goes oh he, he died he died in his sleep anyway my vision now that I'm sitting on the toilet with my tasteful orange pants around my ankles no shirt on because I've thrown that off because I'm really hot is holy crap I'm gonna look like a very very like an albino beached whale in the bathroom so then other things start going through my mind I start thinking this is going on for quite a while and I can I just cannot breathe and I'm trying and in my head I'm thinking I'm sorry mom <laughs> sorry dad oh man just help me if I'm gonna go let it go let it be faster than this and I just keep in a very it's very hard I'm suffocating <laughs> and I sit on the toilet naked basically and I'm like fuck and so I start banging on the wall because I think I just want somebody to come help me and get this whatever's happening I just want it to be over help me basically I say help me and anyway I just keep doing one of these things eventually eventually I talk myself I took about 20 minutes of not being able to breathe and I slowed my breathing down I thought well it isn't working and I started hearing the little buzz woo, little noise right there a bit of that and I thought oh crap I just I gotta get out and uh, have somebody help me and uh, so what, what I did I don't know why probably because I didn't have uh, the oxygen in my brain but I thought I'm just gonna go outside because I just want somebody to be here I pretty I was sure I was, I was dying I was feeling pretty pretty bad but I wasn't able to get up. I pulled my pants up, thank God. And I got outside and was on the balcony uh, in my lovely orange shorts and my giant tummy. Uh, I basically said, help, help me. <laughs> I just don't want, I don't want to be alone. <laughs> so my typical savior, Adam, who was across the way, came over poor Adam. Uh, uh, anyway, um, he came over and uh, uh, got an, uh, another one of these, not the one that's in the back. Did I have this in the bathroom? I don't remember. He got me another one because I was outside without it. It helped me in and hooked me up, but I was pretty, uh, I mean, uh, I don't remember a whole lot. I know Adam helped me. Anyway, so there you go. But I was really afraid. I, t I tell you what, it's very, very scary. <coughs> when you're stuck and uh, you think this is it. And you have a lot of time to think this is it. I'm dying. And I fuck, it is scary. It's a, it's a hard thing. Even though I think it through and, you know, I, well... And people die a lot worse ways. I mean, you know, people, I mean, 
I'm not in a lot of pain. I just can't breathe, so basically I'm going to suffocate. <laughs> and that's the way I'll die, but a lot of people do that. I mean, that's uh, Spock. That's how he died. Uh, COPD, and um, he's got a lot of money, and it didn't matter. I got a lot of machines, Ron. But, um, you know, if this were 50 years ago, I couldn't even be in my home. I mean, I would have to have giant oxygen bottles all around. And now, you know, I can even tell. I'll show you my little oximeter. I don't know how this would show up on the, this thing. It says, okay. It'll tell me how much. Uh, uh, so I'm at 97%. Uh, and that's because, well, no, I'm actually not at that. At 95%. So that's what the oxygen concentrator really pumped up. And uh, if I didn't have that on right now, I'd be around 89%. And then uh, that's sitting here doing nothing but talking. So I went into the bathroom. Already in a crisis yesterday was probably not a good thing. I should have just beat myself and relaxed. There you go. That's the pretty... <laughs> anyway. I, is that more information that you want to know? Let's see, I'm 11 minutes and 40 seconds into it. No script, because I hate fucking scripts. But, eh. So there you have it. And I feel pretty good right now. So there you go. That's... Who knows? Anyway, bye. <laughs>